Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. Just wanted to show you because I have some people asking me about variable speed systems. I do work on them a lot. This one is probably our most popular right now and I want you to hear how quiet this thing is. Look at all the technology inside of it. This is a 20 sear heat pump. So let's go ahead and start it up. Okay, so it doesn't, it does have a call for cooling, but it doesn't automatically just go like, boom, kicks on, right? They don't do that. They're not like a lot of the ones that single stage or two stage that when they kick on, as soon as you put high voltage in, you put the disconnect in, there it goes. That's it. No huge amp draw, no huge noise. So gradually increases, okay? And they're all gonna have some sort of feature that forces them to kick on to their high speed so that you can charge them, okay? So depending on the manufacturer, each one's gonna be a little different, but um, this one, has a button over here you see there it says force switch to so we go ahead and press that button uh, it looks like it's still okay it's not going into force mode yet so it's probably still doing its initial startup okay you need to wait till it's done doing that <clears throat> excuse me Okay, it looks like, that's one thing I did mention. These things do um, have a startup process. It can take four to five minutes for it to, you know, start to really, you know, turn on. And after that time, it's typically five or six minutes, then you can go over here and press the force button right here. Uh, you see that? force push that right there and that I don't know if you can see that but it says it's a sideways like T and it says 29 so the good thing is it's got the sideways T after about 15 minutes and that T is still there after 15 minutes it's supposed to be because it's going into force mode now we can charge it to uh, the subcooling that the manufacturer recommends, which in this specific scenario is a six degrees of subcooling. Okay, so we'll let it do its thing. According to the manufacturer, this number over here says 29 right now. It has to say 72 for us to be able to charge it. Okay, I don't know what 72 means. Um, I'm not sure if that means hertz. I really don't know. But that's just what the manufacturer tells you. Every manufacturer is different. Some manufacturers, it'll have to say 100, right? That makes more sense. But this one, for some reason, you need 72. So we'll be back. But uh, I just wanted to show you how quiet and how high tech these things are. I mean, rarely do people have this much technology inside of their air conditioner or heat pump but I can tell you that this is definitely the future, how efficient these things are. Okay, so now that it's up to that 74, 75 mark, that is where the recommended, you know, the, um, sorry, the manufacturer recommends you charge these. So <clears throat> I added a very, very small amount. You add the same way, slowly through the suction side, you know, and these are my readings right now. They recommend six or seven degrees of subcooling, so that's pretty much dead on. And um, yeah, superheat's fine for you know the wet bulb that we have. It's pretty dry out. But yeah, that's pretty much what you how you charge these systems. I know it's a little different. You can't just go up to the thermostat and lower the temperature, right? 
that it doesn't work like that. You can't um, like a, maybe at some two-stage systems, you know, you just go up to the temperature to the thermostat, lower the temperature, and then boom, it <clears throat> makes a cool stage two if it's a nest. But that doesn't mean. Um, and then after 15 minutes, well, you charge it. You cannot do that here. You can't just lower it a couple degrees, five, six, ten degrees, and expect it to go into 100% capacity. That's just not going to do that. Okay. So that's how you, um, you know, kind of charge these Bosch. And um, that's one of the major differences, I would say. Obviously, the way it works is a lot better. They run consistently. But I mean, this thing is super, super quiet you know all right well thank you for watching like and subscribe